What are you doing, Master? Oh, I'm just playing Raid Shadow Legends. What's that? Wait, you've never heard of it? I... I guess not. Good heavens, Anakin. Do you live under a rock? Look, Master, we're supposed to be preparing for the Outer Rim Sieges. This is no time for games. That's where you're wrong, Anakin. It's the perfect time for games. Because last time I checked, we have a long ride through hyperspace. What better way to pass the time than play Raid? Okay, fine. Just tell me what it is. It's a strategy-based mobile game set in the fictional realm of Teleria, which has been subjugated by the Dark Lord Cyron. They're Sith Lords? No, Anakin, he's not a Sith Lord. I think, at least. Anyways, players take the role of an ancient Telerian warrior resurrected to defeat the Dark Lord and restore peace and harmony to the territory. That actually sounds pretty awesome, not gonna lie. It is, Anakin. It is. I'm gonna start downloading it right now. Excellent. If you want to get a great start on the game, make sure you click this link. Okay, what does it do? By clicking the link in the description, new players will unlock two very powerful epic heroes, Lightsworn and Juliana, upon reaching level 15. You can also use the code GETABORO to unlock another epic champion called Oboro. Oboro has some of the best damage multipliers from the Shadow Keep faction. Using the code Raid War Maiden will unlock you a rare champion called War Maiden. That's awesome, Master. Anything else I can unlock? One more thing. New and existing players can use the code I Love Raid to get a rare champion preserver and some other amazing bonuses. So, Master, can you walk me through the game? Maybe give me a little tutorial? Certainly. The objective of Raid Shadow Legends is to build a team of powerful champions and engage in strategic turn-based battles. Kind of like the Clone Wars, huh, Master? Yes, I suppose so. So I have to start by unlocking champions? Precisely. Okay, how do I do that? You can unlock some from progressing through the campaign, but the best way to unlock them is by summoning them at the portal using shards. What are those? There are a couple different types of shards to find in the game. The most basic one is the mystery shard. You can find these easily, and they usually provide common or uncommon champions. If you want more powerful champions, ancient shards are a higher tier shard that allows you to summon rarer champions. And then there's void shards, primal shards, and sacred shards. These are even rarer and more powerful shards that have a higher chance of summoning epic or legendary champions. Okay, that makes sense. And after you summon a champion, you can read about them. The lore is quite fascinating on some of them. Is there any way to, like, upgrade them and make them more powerful? I, I want more. Yes, I was just getting to that, actually. There are a number of ways to upgrade your champions. You can trade in unwanted champions in the tavern, to upgrade their levels, as well as clear your storage for more champions. You can also use potions and take advantage of double XP events. All right, Master. You can also make your champions more powerful in battle by equipping artifacts. How do you get those? You can find them throughout the campaign, but the best place to get them is dungeons. Dungeons are a great way to gain XP quickly. And it is very fun to try and defeat the bosses. All right, I think I understand the gist of it. Show me some of the battles. All right. We'll start out simple. This is the campaign. Whoa, are those like lizard men? Yes, they are. My champions are battling them. That's wizard. Looks like they're no match for your guys there, master. Yes, I suppose that was a rather successful offensive I mounted. But just wait, Anakin. It gets more challenging as you progress through the campaign. So far, this game looks pretty epic, Master. Is there any way to play, like, online PvP? Yes, there is Arena Mode once you reach a high enough level. Arena Mode is a great way to hone your skills and have fun engaging in epic battles against other online players. It's all about strategy and building a powerful team of champions to climb the ranks and earn rewards. It's a thrilling way to test your skills and see how your team stacks up against others. That sounds awesome. We should play against the clones. Yes, we should. Is there any like cool live events like Fortnite has? Yes, there is. As a matter of fact, there's an event happening right now. It's called Cursed City. Oh, really? What's that about? Cursed City is one of Raid's most exciting updates ever, with 100 stages to complete. 
including stages where you'll need to take down two of Raid's bosses at the same time. As you work your way through the cursed city, you can complete its various quests, and you can even get your hands on a mythical champion. That's incredible! I can't wait to play that. We should start a clan, Master, and get the boys to join so we can do clan versus clan battles. Good idea, Anakin. We can also fight the many different clan bosses. How do I start one? Well, first, you have to reach at least level 13 before you can start or join a clan. Oh, okay. Well, I better start grinding then. I'll start a clan for us. Once you get to level 13, I'll send you an invite. All right. Bet master. What should I name our clan, Anakin? Uh... How about Jedi? Masters. Wait, what am I thinking? Then you wouldn't be allowed to join. Hardy har har. Very funny, Master. I'm gonna name it General Kenobi Rocks. Ugh, oh, seriously, Master? Why? Because I do. You, uh, you do rock, Master. All right. The clan has been created. Nice. I'm gonna tell Rex and the boys to install Raid and join our clan. All right, Anakin. Attention, Gully Studios fans. Make sure to scan this QR code or click the link in the description to instantly unlock two epic heroes. Lightsworn and Juliana and feel free to join my clan, General Kenobi Rocks, and we'll start crushing enemies together. May the force be with you.